listening to the Lone Star Play podcast with your host, Patrick Scott Armstrong. Hi, and welcome to the Lone Star Play podcast. I'm your host, Patrick Scott Armstrong. We have a wonderful episode today. Our guest is Lawrence Cow. He is an actor on the new show on CW, Walker Independence. It's a spinoff of the Walker show, right? Walker, Texas Ranger. Um, and they have a new show. Um, we actually last year interviewed Matt Barr, who was uh, coming on and had sort of a guest starring lead role on Walker, the reboot. And now he's the star of this new show. And we have Lawrence Cow. He is one of uh, the, the, the leads on the show as well. Um, he talks about his character, the show, and some other acting stuff that he's done. We had a great conversation, so you can learn a little bit about um, the show, what's coming with it, and his character. Uh, it was a really cool conversation. He's a really cool guy, and I super enjoyed it. So please check it out. Enjoy, Lawrence Cow. Yeah, tell us a little bit about your character, like who he is and how he fits into the show. Yeah, so basically, I mean, Kai is someone that's just really unassuming. And um, we, 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 we sort of start to get to explore his character as the season progresses. But in the beginning, you know, you know, he owns a, a laundromat. He, he works hard. He has a restaurant. And then he's just trying to uh, start a new life in, um, in Texas Independence. And, um, you know, um, you know I, I don't want to give so much away, but sure. he's basically trying to sort of establish a new identity here he's got a past and he's like semi running away from it and trying to like uh uh establish himself here in independence and so um um you know he masks it by by working really hard um cooking really good food um <laughs> <laughs> washing everybody's clothes you know yeah. it's funny because like he, he he he's like the typical Chinese dude in this Western. Yeah. But what, what's fascinating about um, the series is that as it opens up, you know, we get to explore more facets of uh, the character. And then it, it's fun to just go on his journey. It's fun to go on every every single character's journey in, in the show as well. So I think that's what's going to be cool for audience members to, um, to witness and uh, participate in. Absolutely. Everyone's got like more than than meets the eye, right? That's cool. Not just one or two characters in the show. It's like yeah. everyone's got this journey. Yeah, yeah. On. yeah you know, we got cool. we got to establish, you know, the main characters in the beginning. But I think as everything comes together and and, and melts together, then we sort of get like um, more exciting storytelling. Absolutely. I mean, that's what you need for some show, especially Walker, right? Such a big franchise. Yeah, you it's know, crazy right? that it's been yeah. it's been going for so long that there's even this like prequel, you know. Totally, it's pretty awesome. Totally, it's uh, <laughs> actually such a great idea to uh, to do that. To be honest with you, with the franchise, did you grow up watching uh, like Walker Texas Ranger? Was that anything you know? You... you know, not necessarily. I mean, I've like watched bits and pieces here and there, but it wasn't something that I was like re religiously watching when I was younger. But I, you know, oh, yeah, I knew about neither. it. I'm, yeah, yeah yeah same for me and you know yeah. yeah same for me even being from here like uh honestly yeah. everyone thought you watched texas ranger like religiously it was like what, what why would you? <laughs> i remember my, when my i got married here right my wife came from spain and when my father-in-law came he had never been out of spain before but he loves walker texas ranger they showed on reruns <laughs> in spain like crazy he that's, literally that's thought so he wild. was going to, dude, he thought he was going to meet Chuck Norris when he got here. I'm not joking. He was seriously <laughs> thinking that that somehow might happen. Just random. I was like, listen, uh, it's not going to happen. I promise you. <laughs> I bet a lot of old school, old school viewers like that are fans are going to like watch the prequel and be like, where's Chuck Norris? Like, totally. he's not here. I'm not, I ain't watching it, you know? <laughs> But you know what? They'll be excited that like, oh, they did a prequel. This is cool. Like, this is where it started. Hey, they yeah. could get behind that way. No, for yeah. sure. Um, no, that just shows um, what a great show and, and that it is, that it can expand on all of this, right? And that you guys are able to uh, take advantage of this. Like, what yeah. attracted you most to this project? Was it sort of that angle or just a good opportunity to have a cool character or... I mean, I, I mean, I love acting, you know, any kind of opportunity I get, I'm always like, you know, I'm down to do it. But I think, I think that, that, that is what attracted me to this project because, um, you know, we were told that this was a big ensemble kind of piece and there, there's going to be, you know, so many different layers to the series. And, um, you know, also like, 
the intimidating factor of, of playing a character like this in a Western, you know, like, yeah, I have to do, I have to do an accent, you know, it's like, yeah, you know, dude, I'm not, I'm you crushed lie. it. Like, I'm, thanks, I'm, you did, you, you, dude, your scenes are great, man. I'm lost thanks, in them. Thanks, like, I, I'm, you know, yeah, dude. Thank you. I mean, it's just, uh, it, it's, it's hard to like, it's hard to, to, it's hard to accept a series where you have to go in like doing this accent at first. Cause you know, sure. like I don't want to, I don't want to bring my people back or anything. Yeah, like, not but it. you know, I thought, I thought it was a cool opportunity to really embrace, you know, how this guy speaks and to make it more soulful, you know, and not, not to be something to be made, to be made fun of, you know? And I thought that was, um, a cool opportunity. And plus like his backstory is so badass too. So like, it's, um, I was excited to to jump in on it, and then and and plus, like you know, the people behind the project are just awesome, and you know, I, I wanted to work with them, and everybody on the cast is cool too. So, yeah, it's just been a fun together. experience. Yeah, you put that all yeah. together. You got yeah, perfect recipe here. Yeah, no, that's awesome, man. That's all. Is the set like uh, you said? You guys are filming New Mexico. Is it like a um, you know, they show these wide shots, right, of the, the actual town. Like, is it like that? Is it? I can't tell yeah, if that's CG or not. It's that's pretty much what it is. It's like it's a real wow. ranch. It's like stuff that's built there, and it's like we're actually shooting there. And so it's um, it's pretty wild because yeah, like that's a playground. sick, dude. You know, yeah, we drive in a wow. set, and it's like, oh, that's our playground. You know, it's like it's pretty <laughs> awesome. It's pretty. You get it's pretty sweet. You get to ride some horses. What's the deal? Um. A little bit. Yeah, I get. I get I get. I I get. I get to ride a horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not good a, on a horse. I don't yeah. know. Have you ridden a horse before? Or are you? I mean, this is pretty much my first time. My first time really experiencing what it's like to control a horse. You know, especially yeah, since yeah. you know, once the cameras are on, they're going to call action. You you have to like you have to say your lines. You got to be in the story. <laughs> but plus, you also have to control this like animal. You know, it's crazy. <laughs> Dude, I bet. I bet. I can't imagine, honestly. Yeah. No, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that reminds me of uh, Nope that came out over the summer, right? Like with the horses. Oh, man, I still got to watch it. it. I haven't I haven't Bro. watched it yet. Is it good? Okay. Oh, my. Is it good? I loved it. it. You loved I, it? Okay, I, awesome. Oh, yes. I thought it was. I love Jordan Peele, man. Like, he's. Dude, he's. He's a genius. He's a genius. Bro. He's a genius. Yes. I, man, I thought it was on another level personally. Um, okay, I thought it was great. Yeah, man. You, oh, you. I think you'll love it. Uh, yeah, I definitely got to check it out. Um, I heard that. I, I, I mean, I heard it's more than what it is about. Of course, I don't want to say like, anything. Yeah, you yeah. haven't seen it. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. want to. It's one of those movies. Honestly, like you wish you even hadn't hadn't even seen a trailer. Me personally, oh, okay. like I, I would have yeah, just yeah, gone yeah. in blind and like well, not yeah. known anything. You know. They don't do, you don't get projects like that anymore, which I get, right? There's so much out there. It's hard to do. Yeah. You got to promote your shit, right? So like, I get it at the same time, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, all right, let's see here. I'm getting lost here. My bad. I'm, I'm excited yeah, no to be talking to you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> how long, how long have you been doing this for? Uh, three years. Oh, nice. Three years. Cool. Man, I transitioned right before the pandemic. I had sold my food truck, catering, you know, all that. And partnered yeah. up with this company out of london and we and we started this podcast and cool. we've been doing out of it. london yeah. yeah they they they're they're based out of they're london, based in london. That, okay yeah yeah i'm the i'm the cool. guy here in texas but everyone else is over there awesome uh, yeah yeah so yeah this is what we do man why well, does it seem it's like man how this guy just started here no no I'm no, no. <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding dude i know look i'm so relaxed uh no uh, i love it make people feel comfortable i like com i like conversations like this okay man look let's talk woo assassins here so this came out yeah. on just real quick here so this came out on netflix um yeah. I, I actually didn't get a chance to see this and i started looking it up and it had i want to make sure i get this right the star of it was Eco Uwai? How do you yeah. say that guy's name? Is that it? Uwais. Eco Uwais, yeah. Uwais. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Uh, from The Raid, dude. Oh, my God. Man, isn't that movie great. insane? Insane? Fucking insane. Bro, so both I of I them, them or three yeah, or however many, love them all. I, I mean, I watched it when I was in, like, I, was, I watched it in college, just never thinking like at that point in my life, oh man, I'm gonna be doing a series with this guy. <laughs> wild. Totally wild. He was dude. like that the most so badass, sick. the most badass martial artist. Probably one of the like coolest martial arts films. It just blew my mind. Agreed. So, yeah. Agreed. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, working with him. I mean, just, yeah, dude. So like you're on Wu Assassins and yeah, tell us a little bit about the show. Like what what is it sort of about? 
I mean, it's um, I, I shot this a while ago already. I think it was in 2018, like four years ago. And um, it, it's basically just about um, Eco's character who uh, all of a sudden gets like these powers. And, um, you know, he's got a group of friends and I'm, I'm one of his like druggy friends. Um, <laughs> I'm like his heroin addict friend. That, that... You're like, roll the dream come true. Roll. Yes. I got this. You know, I love stuff like that, though. Like the stuff that I That's have to true. really like yeah, dig deep down deep, in. Yeah, dig deep. Okay, yeah. yeah, I get it. I get it. Um, but but yeah, you know, he's just like, he's got to save the world. And, you know, he's got a group of friends that, that help him do it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get another season. But um, we did like a continuation movie. I saw that, right? Uh, yeah, so Fistful it's called Fistful of Vengeance. Fistful of Vengeance, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and so that, so that was cool. We shot that in Thailand uh, a couple years later, and then it just pretty much continues on the story. The story is that my sister gets killed, and, um, you know, we go to Thailand, and then we just go avenge her death. Um, and it's just yeah. action-packed from beginning to oh, end. Bro. It's just awesome, like, being surrounded oh, by Oh, I'm watching it. Are you kidding yeah, me? It. It's, ha it's oh, happening yeah, yeah, yeah. this weekend, yeah. bro. It's it's on yeah, the list. Why, why, it's on the queue. Why, <laughs> Yes. Watch Fistful of Vengeance. It'll be cool. I'm going to watch the whole series too, man. Um, I'm, I'm into that stuff. I can't believe I missed it. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know. How did I miss this thing? They didn't, what happened? They didn't really promote it as much. Like they weren't really uh, strong about promotion at that time. You know, they just wanted to see, you know, let's see if our numbers are good, you know, Netflix. And um, yeah. Totally. I mean, I w it would have been fun to like do another, do another oh, series. But, yeah. Do course, another man. season. Hi guys, hope you're enjoying this episode. I just want to let you know about our sponsor, Texas Real Food. Go to texasrealfood.com, enter your zip code. You will be given a great list of farmers markets, restaurants, butchers, grocery stores, anything around you that serves organic, artisanal, you know, food or sells things like that. Um, it's great. All natural, fresh stuff. Texas Real Food, right? It's also a great resource for recipes, articles keep you up to date on everything food in Texas. Um, you can also just find, you know, uh, products that are made in Texas, you can purchase online, right? So a great honey that's from the the hill country or, right, a great bottle of wine or something, you know, along those lines. So you don't, it doesn't necessarily have to be around you, but you can find the cool places around you that you can physically go. So please check it out, texasrealfood.com, enter your zip code, go there today, check it out, enjoy. All right, let's get back to the show with Lawrence Cow. Hope you enjoy. Um, I saw a thing, I saw a part uh, on YouTube of you on a, on a channel, which I had never heard of, which by the way, I'm, I subscribe to just kidding news. Oh. Okay. <laughs> hilarious. These guys are hilarious. I wasn't expecting yeah, they're funny, this man. to be on. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I'll be honest. I clicked. I just wasn't expecting what I got. I was like, whoa, this is fucking <laughs> hilarious. And they actually were talking about that a little bit because there's one white guy in the in the show, and they're like, yeah, "You haven't heard yeah, of this show?" Yeah, He's yeah. like, "No, I haven't heard of it." And they're like, "Man, <laughs> this is what happened!" And like, <laughs> like it was kind of yeah, a funny, it's so funny. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought that yeah, was yeah. Those funny. guys, what, those guys are cool show? because, yeah. like, you know, we've like they they used to do a lot of YouTube sketches, so maybe about like, like fuck, like over ten years ago we would just do these sketches together and they, they had this YouTube channel and then they just, uh, they just branched off and started doing like these podcasts where they just talk about random news and then just talk shit to each other. And it's great, man. So sometimes dude, they'll have me 1. on 1.6 like, million subscribers. They're crushing it. Yeah, yeah man. man. No, it's dude, insane. that's awesome. But they, yeah, I saw, I saw you've been it. on quite a bit. Actually. I saw a lot of clips uh, that you were yeah, on the show. Yeah. A lot of random clips, but they've, yeah. yeah, they've been doing it since like, 2000 like early early 2000s maybe wow so they just been and like oh, so yeah you were working with them in the beginning on skits and stuff yeah yeah a long oh, time but you wow. know i wasn't i didn't like i didn't create the skits with them but, you sure know, but you sure. know like yeah I'll yeah be there, like, yeah but, dude that's so sick oh i didn't know that part yeah. of it dude that's cool okay that's cool man so they've seen you come a long way too yeah i mean yeah right? everybody sort of has like you know in that youtube community like trying to make your own content sure um, yeah absolutely no that's sick man what other you have you worked with any other youtube channels back in the day that have mm, sort of hit it or i don't know no not i mean not not really not really just trying to like make my own sketches and stuff and you know More when game. there's no work yeah it is 
it's tough, man. It's tough out sure. there. <laughs> Absolutely. No, for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, dude, for sure. No, that's cool, man. Yeah, that's a great channel. Um, uh, for those watching and listening, yeah, check that out. Just, uh, just kidding news. Yeah, that, that shit's hilarious, uh, for sure. Um, no, that's cool. So what other things are you working on? Is everything just focused on Walker right now? Is, are you just yeah, all in I mean, on that? And yeah, we're just, we're just all in on Walker right now. Um, you know, I'm pretty, pretty invest invested in this show at the moment. Um, you know, we're hoping that our numbers are good and then we get like, a you know, the, the light for, um, second season and, um, yeah, I mean, like, I'm I'm writing some material with my buddy um, that we're gonna try to shoot like next next year, but it's all pending on depending on whether or not you know we get another, uh, de depending on when we wrap up Walker and sure and, yeah, schedule like wise, that. right? Like yeah, schedule wise, schedule. yeah, yeah, for sure. No, yeah. no, no, that's cool. That's but cool. yeah, so far that's just my focus, just 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 trying to figure out this, and then um. Yeah, going from there. Yeah, absolutely. And living in the moment, yeah. right? Just doing your thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. For sure, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's Definitely. talk a little food here before I let you go. I won't take too much yeah, of your time. Yeah, of course. Um, so your guy in the in the show, right, he has a restaurant, all that stuff. Like, what what do you – are you a big foodie before the show? Like, did you have to become a food? Like, how well, – No, not – I mean, yeah, not necessarily, but I do love Chinese food. Um, you know, like, Kai – Kai makes like the best Chinese food. He's like really good at making soup. He's really good at making kanji. Do you like kanji? Yeah. You know what that is? Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and um, I mean, I've always been like, uh, I mean, I love food, but <laughs> what sucks about living in um, Santa Fe is that there there is absolutely no Asian food whatsoever. Really. There is none. There's oh, none, man. And I mean, the so Mexican strange. food is the Mexican food is awesome, though. Like, you know, like, sure. yeah, like that's soap, true. So papillas, um, dude, they're amazing. But there's no like, there's no Chinese food. There's no like, I get it. There's get no it, Jap. Man. There's no really Japanese food or like Thai food or at least food that's good, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So I'm going to take yeah, advantage of um, being that's why you're like, I bit. wish we shot in Austin. <laughs> right, <'cause, laughs> the food in Austin, dude. The Asian it, food in Austin is yeah. Awful. Is it bomb? Bomb, dog. It's I, like I've, some of the best I've in the never, country. I've only been in like Texas, like for maybe like a couple days, like in Houston. Yeah, right on. Houston, yeah. One of the Houston's best. Pretty uh, awesome too, right? A uh, dude for Asian food, Houston yeah, has like honestly, Vietnamese food for, for a, yes, for, for any food though. Yeah, if uh, Houston is. Listen, Houston as a city has the most diverse food in the entire country. Okay, over New York, over San Francisco, or even over LA. I don't know. There is yes, there is no. It's it's sort of like a hidden thing amongst chefs and the, you know the food industry. Like Texas as a whole, man, they just the James Beard Awards just gave Texas its own category. Okay, Texas is a special place. Like Austin, DFW, yeah. where I'm at, Houston. Um, yes, El Paso, San Antonio. Yeah. Uh, it's crazy, the food here. But Austin and Houston and DFW, just it's another level killing of, it. of stuff. Oh, dude, just killing yeah. it. Yes. Uh, you yeah, watch, sure, um, yeah. what's that chef show on um, Hulu? Did you watch that? Which one? I, there's so many out there. I don't the, uh, the Bear. Oh, yeah, oh, the bear. Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, I mean, everyone told me to watch that. Patrick, have you yeah. seen the bear? Have you seen yeah. the bear? Have you seen the bear? <laughs> yes, I saw the bear. Yes, I saw it. Yes, I loved it. I even had, a, I even had a, some Hollywood uh, uh, directors who I've interviewed were, like, yeah. curious of my opinion uh, of, of the food about because the, we've about, talked yeah, about yeah, it on yeah. the show. Yeah, they want to know, mm -hmm. hey, how authentic was my show with food or, the, you know, the kitchen scenes or, the, you know, I've given yeah, them, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. whatever. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is. Um, to be fair, it is uh, very realistic, a lot of things. Now, there's some stuff, of course, right, like anything that's yep. taken over the top. But, yes, uh, the only thing, that my only complaint, and a lot of complaints the chefs have with the show is, like, they, they just make all chefs seem so stressed out and just I angry. Know. And and every show. High strong. Yeah, which, to be fair, that is a big part of it, okay? But at the same time, it's changing. Like, it's not all that at, at yeah, the same yeah, time. Yeah. But, look, I get it. Um, you got to add that drama. You yeah, know, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. They should make a show is. like that where it's like all peaceful, the guys chill, 
Yeah. You know? It's just like everything's good. Chill food. Yeah. Chill vibes. You know what you do? You make it realistic. The customers are the crazy ones. Okay. Make that the That's show. Good. The customers yeah, yeah. are the crazy ones. And, and you change them out each week, right? So you got new, you new different actors customers, coming in, right? Different crazy people. Different guest That's spots. Perfect. You know, all this stuff. Look. We I'm should pitch you. this. I'm telling you, there's something there. It's all it's all about them putting it out there. And that's the viewpoint from the kitchen is always looking out through this window of like mm -hmm. those crazy motherfuckers. Are. That's what we say on the line. God damn it. You see that good over there? Because that's all you do on the line. You're just looking out and talk. That's how you pass the time. Yeah, it's talking hot, shit. You're sweaty. Talk yeah, you're talking people. shit. Yeah, dude, of course, you know, that, that's how it goes. Damn, you're making me miss it, to be honest with you. Uh, <laughs> Why did you stop? But dude, the work, you know, the, the workload is, uh, anyone will tell you, you just sort of get burnt out, yeah. especially when you own, I had a few locations of doing catering. It was just like, man, I, I yeah. just, I'm, I'm done. Five years was just too much, you know, six, seven, 70 hours minimum a week. Yeah. Wow. You know, it's just how it is. Uh, if you want to stay, you know, at the top, and grow, right. Yeah, yeah. Relevant. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's basically it. Um, yeah. So whatever, you know, it happens. Yeah, I'm sure, you know, working yeah. on a show, dude, y'all work crazy hours. Y'all yeah. work, you know, location stuff, you know, that's insane. Yeah. It can, know. it can get taxing no matter even how much you love something like putting in long hours into something still can be like very taxing physically, Absolutely. mentally. Yeah. Yes. You know, like learning lines, like how long does it take you to learn line? I mean, that stuff's like, yeah, right? it takes that's a while. Be, yeah, man. That's what I can't get over you guys do. Like, I just don't even know how y'all do that. You know, remember <laughs> all that. Remember everything that Scott would screw everything up if it was on me. Oh, my God. Patrick, you're supposed to be over here. You're supposed to say yes. Why do you have a banana in your hand? I don't know. I, you know. Wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, Lawrence, man, this has been so much fun, man. Listen, um, how do people stay in contact with you? Are you on social media and all that? Yeah, yeah, You can just follow me at, at I am Lawrence Cow, I-A-M, and then my name, Lawrence Cow. Twitter. Twitter. Those are the, the only two things. TikTok? I don't know. No, on not, no, not on the, no, not on the TikTok. <laughs> he said no. I am not on that TikTok. <laughs> there, no more. I can't do it anymore. This is it. This is, I'm tapping out at, tapping out at Twitter. I love it. I love yeah. it. That's awesome, man. Well, listen, dude, thank you so much. Was there a, Oh, where can people see the show? What time? Let's not um, forget the most important. Yeah, watch thing. um watch Walker. it um you know what? I'm so terrible at times cuz like there's so I'll many put it in the intro. I'll take care of it. Don't worry. I'll t seriously. I got a whole intro. But it's intro on the CW. Yeah, CW. It's on the CW. It's on Thursday nights. You can watch it on Hulu. Like, that's where I watched it. You can, can watch you? it on Hulu. Yeah, you can watch it on Hulu. What? You I can watch that. it on YouTube TV Premium. You can watch it on Fubo. Um, oh, there's actually a ton of ways to watch this show, I to be honest with you. I did not know that. Bro, I thought it was just through the CW app. Nope. There's a million okay. ways to watch it, um, which is great. Yeah. You well, know? you let them know. I'm going to let everybody you know. It. We'll put it down. We'll list it exactly, man. Thank you so Sweet. much, Lawrence. Dude, this has been sick, dude. You, you've yeah, been awesome. Thanks for I chatting, hope I didn't uh, take up too much of your day here. No, not at all, man. It's great. Great chatting Appreciate with you, it. brother. Yeah. Awesome, man. Well, be good, brother. Enjoy uh, your time with your mother, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, man. Take care. All right, brother. Be good. Peace. Bye. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for watching the episode. We hope you enjoyed this episode with Lawrence Count. Please make sure and check out Walker Independence. It's on CW, Hulu, and just, you know, Google. You can find out where else you can watch it. Um, as always, thank you so much for supporting the podcast. We'll put links in the description as well so you can check it out. And uh, again, if you want to check us out on social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and if you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment. That helps the algorithm. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we can't do it without you. So please stay Lone Star. We'll see you next time. You've been listening to the Lone Star Plate podcast with your host, Patrick Scott Armstrong. For more info, go to lonestarplate.show.